Hey everyone, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis. So, wanted to talk about purchasing accounts. The risks involved, the benefits, why you should, why you shouldn't spend on the game, why you shouldn't buy an account, all the pros and cons. So yesterday, I featured an account, absolutely amazing account, VIP 25, uh, 34 fully ascended generals, absolutely ridiculous account. That's what got me thinking about this. So, you know, probably about uh, three, four months ago before Ebony did a big hit on alts, I was ready to drop, you know, like uh, three, four, five full cakes, you know, bring my buffs back up to uh, where they should be for VIP 22. But I really lucked out. That morning, I spent $100 the day before, and the next day I was going to do it. It was cultural sub day, and uh, Ebony took, you know, like 300 billion from me. And I was like, D I'm done. I'm not spending anymore. When there's no like recourse with the company, I'm not going to spend. And then I was looking at that account yesterday and I was like, geez, even if I spent $10,000, I come nowhere near that account. But you could probably spend $10,000 and buy that account. I have no idea what the guy's selling for. No idea. I really don't discuss it with people. I'm just saying something, you know, the amount you put into the game, you do not get what you could get if you buy an account and you could have a hell of a lot more fun having a really really big account than just doing a few cakes like if your average player here and i'm just going to pick a random keep here but uh let's just say right here like k38 that's probably where most people are in the game and if some if this person was to spend 10k they probably don't even get to k40 their buffs are probably like 2200 I'm assuming this person's probably around like 16, 1700, just an average player. So they probably only go up a few hundred percent. But you could take all that money and just buy a keep. Now, is there downside to buying a keep? Yeah, for sure. Like for one, like you're going to you're going to take risk, right? There's always the chance that Ebony may one day say we are banning buying accounts. Just like they kind of did a little bit with the alt stuff, right? Like they didn't enforce alts for years and then all of a sudden they started to take hundreds of billions from people. So there is always the risk of that. There's always the risk that the previous owner doesn't uh, you know, live up to the sale, right? They, they completely rip you off at the start or they just decide to come back in the future. Now that's never happened with anyone on my channel and people who go on my channel to sell generally are motivated to leave the game. They just want out. But there is, you know, when you're dealing with people you don't know, there's always risk. And then of course, you're gonna have to deal with, you know, your server's probably gonna make fun of you, be like, oh, you didn't buy the account. Well, you know what? No one at the top really has their own account. Like you, you want to look at lots of the top accounts in the game, man. May, I'm I'm just gonna throw this out there. Probably like nine out of ten are not the original owner anymore. I know if we go to my server, like ooh. Uh, so looking at the top ten here, I think there's one original owner. That's it. Like. No server has original owners really in most of their accounts. So don't feel any ashamed about that. Uh, it's just smart business, right? Like I've always said to people, like I would never buy a brand new car again. I made those mistakes when I was young. As soon as you drive it off the lot, it loses 30% of the value. Well, in Ebony, when you spend, you lose like 90% of your value right away. <laughs> like these keeps that are selling, they go for maybe if they're lucky, 5% of what the person has spent. That's if they're lucky. Probably even less in most cases. Probably more like 1% to 3% for most cities. So it's a bad investment in the game, but hell of an investment for enjoyment if you're gonna buy a used city. Uh, other bad things about it is, you know, you. You change server, you lose all your internet friends, you'll keep in touch for a little bit and then you'll go on a new server and, uh, you know, you'll start over. And I will say this, it's never as fun as the start of the server. Like the first six months of a server are so fun. 
all the arguing, the fighting, the the battles to see who's going to be the lead alliance and dictate the rules, then like sitting in these like chat groups and making constitutions and rules. And nowadays on the new servers, it's a lot of repeat players like people who've started over so they know the game you don't have to do this but like a couple years ago when i was on a new server and starting and people were figuring it out people didn't even know like hey what what do we need we need a rule for this okay well what about this what if someone does that i remember all those sort of conversations and just the fact that like at the start of a server it's usually more bloodbath right like you're actually fighting each other you're actually attacking you have no svs you have no battlefield to take your attention off of it. It's just old school Ebony, just one server in the universe that matters to you and you're fighting. And uh, so you miss out on that fun if you do buy a city. But if you care about Battlefield and being good and playing All Stars and that sort of stuff, the best value you're ever gonna get is uh, just purchasing an account. So I just wanted to say that for people to think about that stop buying full cakes just go out get a keep and then if you really want to coin a little bit after that you don't have to coin too much to keep the account up to par you know you could just do the low level cakes add a few sieve gears so you can amplify that sort of stuff but you could also another really big benefit of buying a keep you get to hand pick the server you go on so you could be like hey there's this awesome alliance and their battlefields look fun i'd love to play with them and play with people who understand the game. And you can do that, right? Because your server, you don't get to pick who's on it. It's just random people, could be different time zones, doesn't work out well for you. Could be people who just aren't gonna coin. And if they're not gonna coin, you're gonna have less fun, right? Because how much fun you have in the game is really, really dictated by who your teammates are and how good of accounts they have. And if they're from the same, you know, time zone as you, so you guys are playing at the same time, online at SVS to do things together and that sort of stuff. So let me know in the comments, would you ever consider buying an account? Is it beneath you? When I first started, I was like, I, I loved laughing at people who bought accounts. I was, I was like, you suck, you know nothing about the game, you just bought an account. And then now I look back and it's like, they were smarter than me. I should have done that years ago. To get a big jump start, head start. I remember I could have bought this awesome account on 136 where I started. It was probably the second or third best on the account at about like eight months in. And uh, I cheaped out. The guy only wanted $250 too. And I was trying to talk him down. And I was like, uh, you know, let me know in a couple of days if anybody beats my offer and I'll top it. And he just never got back to me. And he sold it for 300 I think. And... Uh, Man, I would have enjoyed the next like year so much more if I would have just done that. And obviously I ended up spending like thousands more than that 250 to get a keep that wasn't even as good as that one. But anyways, that's a story that I think a lot of people can relate to. So anyways, like, subscribe, leave a comment.